From abject poverty to Hollywood royalty, Kirk Douglas's life story is literally one of rags to riches, but who inherited his wealth after his passing may surprise you. Few embodied the spirit of the golden age of Hollywood like Kirk Douglas. On February 5, 2020, the beloved actor passed away at the astounding age of 103, leaving behind a lifetime of films showcasing his talent. In fact, Douglas appeared in more than 90 movies during his life and worked closely with some of cinema's most renowned icons. But before he became an international star, Douglas was living a very different life. As a young man, the Spartacus star worked modest jobs to get by while attending the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City from 1939 until 1941. He would later spend time in the U.S. Navy. At the time of his death, Douglas's vast achievements had reportedly accrued him a fortune of approximately $60 million. However, success didn't happen overnight. I came from, I guess, Michael, what you'd call abject poverty. Douglas was born as Isser Danielovich in 1916 in Amsterdam, an impoverished neighborhood of New York. Douglas's parents were of Russian Jewish origin and had immigrated to the United States a few years prior to his birth with little money to their names. The actor was one of seven children that the couple had to provide for, and in order to make ends meet, Douglas's father earned what he could as a ragman, leading the performer to title his 1988 memoir The Ragman Son. His family is actually from uh, Belarus. As a teenager, Douglas did what he could to help support his family by working small jobs throughout high school. It wasn't until after his time in college and a short stint in the military that his acting career took off. However, the Hollywood icon never forgot his modest roots. In 1964, the actor and his second wife Anne established the Douglas Foundation, a private charitable institution that focuses its efforts on giving to those in need. Education, accessible health care, medical research, and granting underprivileged children opportunities to build a brighter future for themselves are among the Douglas Foundation's paramount priorities. Prior to his death, Douglas personally donated $2.3 million to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. In 2015, on his 99th birthday, he also donated $15 million to the Kirk Douglas Care Pavilion, a sector of his philanthropic efforts geared toward helping individuals from the entertainment industry who had been afflicted with Alzheimer's. Following Kirk's death, his oldest son, actor Michael Douglas, paid tribute to his father, saying, To the world, he was a legend, an actor from the golden age of movies who lived well into his golden years, a humanitarian whose commitment to justice and the causes he believed in set a standard for all of us to aspire to. Douglas had spearheaded charitable efforts throughout his lifetime and was as much a philanthropist as he was a legend of the screen when he died. According to the U.S. Sun, when it was made public that Kirk's significant fortune had gone almost entirely to charity, his family appeared to wholeheartedly support the decision. St. Lawrence University, Westwood Sinai Temple, and the Douglas Foundation were a few of the organizations that received large shares of Kirk Douglas's fortune after he died. On April 29, 2021, just over a year after Kirk Douglas died, his wife Anne passed on as well at the age of 102. The two had been married for 65 years. In 2017, the couple co-authored a book called Kirk and Anne, Letters of Love, Laughter, and a Lifetime in Hollywood, in which they recounted the saga of their love through personal reflections. Discussing their romance, Anne would write, We talked for hours, and I had a strange feeling in my heart that I could fall in love with this man. Anne's altruistic efforts continued to help those in need through the Douglas Foundation and other charitable enterprises that bear her namesake, such as the Anne Douglas Center for Women. Following the death of his stepmother, Michael Douglas shared via People, Anne was more than a stepmother and never wicked. She brought out the best in all of us, especially our father.